Hello guys, it's Peter from PS Sound. And finally, we have time and I have a phone that actually uh, works. Not like last time when we shared the last video. And at the, at the very end of the video, even my, my phone just gave up. So we had a quick rushed ending to it when this card left. When was that in April? End of April, wasn't it? Something like that. Or before April, I don't know. It was roughly two months ago when we last worked on it, when we did the 18s, when we fitted them. And since then, we've, we've done a few more bits and the owner also did his part to make it complete. So now, for a while, we can, we can say that this is complete, right? So time, time to enjoy the car. Okay, where do we start? Um, I'm gonna go through the system and break it down because some people may see this video for the first time, but if you haven't seen the build of this system, then please go to the description and you will find the link to the playlist of this car. You will see how everything was done, the mid-base separately. Uh, we have a video for that um, showing the whole build, the dash build and all of those things. So now we have a hedge unit. Last time we only had a factory hedge unit and uh, we didn't even really use it. Before the factory hedge unit was running on speaker levels and now the owner invested into a Joeying Android uh, hedge unit which does pretty much everything. It has coaxial digital output. Um, we still need um, the right CAN bus box because it's not fully integrated to the steering wheel and the factory reverse camera and things like that. But Eddie, Eddie made his with his magic he managed to make it work because otherwise he didn't even want to turn on at all the CAN bus box for this hedge unit didn't work months ago either they sent a new unit and it didn't work again it's just a bit annoying but at least we figured out what the issue was so it was just the wrong CAN bus box um it wasn't up to spec or it wasn't working who knows but now actually yeah we we managed to make it work and the manufacturer knows so hopefully we will get a new CAN bus box and it will work it's, it's pretty nice, to be fair. It's nicer than what these cars come with. Really nice display, and you can even download apps like Spotify, Tidal, and all those things. It does navigation, pretty much everything. It has CarPlay as well, but you don't actually really need it. It can run everything independently, what I really like. But, um, well, that's not what makes everyone excited. So. We have that as a source running on Coax Digital. Then we also have two more uh, sources. So we have the HD player um, in the DSP. Um, then we also have Bluetooth module uh, fitted into the HDSP5. So we have three sources. We can choose between many, many different uh, sources. You can see two controllers, right? And that makes many people confused. I think I, I mentioned this at the end of the previous video. The reason why we have two controllers is that uh, the HDSP5 is the master. So that has 16 channels and, and out of those 16 channels we run 14 currently. Because we have three-way front-end consisting ESB8000 series tweeters, a Stag MSS3 4-inch mid fitted in the dash. Then we have Micro Precision 7 series mid-base drivers in true YB. Uh, breathing through the wheel arch, a pair of them each side, so that's six channels. Then we have two acoustic elegance. There you go. We have two acoustic elegance IB18 AU subs, so that's eight channels. Um, then we have rear feel now. We 3D printed pods, Eddie came up with a simple design, and trust me, that's not flimsy. We made it full feel. Uh, full feel, really rigid and thick. Um, I think it's four or five mil watt thickness throughout, so it's very rigid. So the rear feel runs passively. That's what you have those Hertz crossovers for, one for each side. And that's where the other other is. So those use two channels, so that's ten channels. And then the owner had the request to utilize the the old mid bass drivers he had in each door. Uh, Hertz, which are these? The Hertz um, high, high energy, or this is not the ML range mid base, is it? Uh, it's, it's not my legend, no. It's, no, it's, it's one, one category one. lower. But he had those and he likes a bit of party mode, so he wanted to utilize them. So we have four more channels running from the HDSP5, which is on the top with all those RCAs, 
we have four channels run running into that uh, Zepco ADSP uh, amplifier. Now you may ask, you know, why did we use a DSP amp when we don't need the DSP function of that? We certainly don't, but there wasn't anything that would have fitted within the space, the shape, the size, power, and things like that. So yeah, it was it was it was a bit tricky. Um, there you go. I just click this music away or something at the background so it doesn't annoy us. Oh, is the Emma the new Emma competition tracks? Okay, so yeah, that was the only amp that we could physically fit. That's an H channel amplifier, so we use uh, two channels bridged for each door. So this way we have 240 watts maximum. I don't think we get close to that, but we have plenty of clean power. And yeah, they certainly make the drivers move in the doors. Doors truly struggle now at, at high levels. But this way, the system was tuned in a way that we have a preset where the doors are tuned to the driver's position and every single driver was EQ'd and time aligned to the driver. So they, they actually blend into the system and they give extra kick, a lot of kick. But the thing is, once you turn up these 18s, um, the corner area of which are equal to 512s, just to make it a bit more clear, clearer what we deal with, then yeah, we have serious output levels. Um, we will try to share a sort of demo video with you, a separate video where we will uh, play this setup crazy, like with crazy low, low lows, low bass music, all, all sorts of shit, you know. Uh, people want to see how these drivers move and how the car wants to fall apart. Um, that will give you an insight into what serious levels these can create in this application. So, yeah, that's how we have a really complex system right now. But, yeah, it does, it does a lot. We have several different presets. We have a very pure uh, sound quality preset for competition. Then we have a daily preset with and without rear fill which run uh, differential on the daily presets but then we also have presets where the rear feel plays full range uh, as normal rear feel and it blasts but it was still um, properly tuned eq'd and timeline to the driver even if they they run full signal of course with the the correct pipers filter obviously um so yeah we have we have some craziness happening with this system um so Oh, let's go to the back. We haven't showed that yet. There you go. You have to say something about that. That was your idea, because because this was built. Yeah, it's your your building. My well, own just you, you build the panel. Yeah. To save your time, a bit. Yeah, we were due to build this panel or some sort of panel uh, last week for this car, but uh, it made made our life a bit easier that I didn't have to. It's rigid, it's solid. Um, that grill is actually a uh, barbecue grill, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's <laughs> it's really thick. And this car is not really used like most people use a, a pickup for. It's not loaded like that, right? But you still put stuff in it and yeah. you want to make sure that those subs don't get damaged. However, are you planning to put some speaker cloth or anything in front of it or paint the grill black at some point or it's going to stay like that? I think for now it's still like that. When everything is closed, it's you dark, don't see. Dark. You can't yeah, because the windows are tinted. <laughs> yeah, you can't see even. But yeah, this this car is getting now serious workout when when the system is turned up to crazy levels. That's for sure. It's so cool to to see the 18s move. <laughs> They're quite quite something. You, you kind of don't even notice how big they are because it's just a way bigger car. It's it's a pickup. You know, in, in other cars, or if, if we were now looking at a saloon's boot, then, yeah, you could probably put in 215s maximum. But even even 215s in a saloon would look big. These don't look as big in this huge space, because what is it? It's like one cubic meter airspace, easily. Roughly 1,000 liter, I think, overall. Quite big. Also... We are going to have a separate video, a separate video after this, as soon as I have time to sit down and, and, and create a content for you guys. 
in which I'm going to show you what these subs measure in this cabin in different scenarios like when everything is closed when this back box is is, is open the, that top uh, tag gate is open when one window is open on the driver's side or the passenger side or both sides doors open things like that I, i've done those tests to see how the cabin reacts um, and how these subs work because that's very valuable for many of you if you want to do something similar then you know what to expect if you have a similar size car um, but trust me even without going into the details and, and sharing that video these subs in in this cabin work so fucking good um, I, do, I don't even know how we could get any better bass in any car because they play the low lows all the way down to 11 hertz without any problem and they play the highs as well without any cancellation any any drop in the range nothing it's clean up to like 150 hertz to the time the amplifier kicks in because it has inbuilt low pass filters and i think the highest you can turn it up is somewhere around there but um yeah they are so good so good everything you can ever ask for really when when we have the sound quality preset they blend in so well you don't even notice them oh when you turn them up okay you can tell <laughs> you can tell they are there but uh we may mention that we have uh, some crazy plans for the future as well right if i'm standing here now see those empty spaces it looks <laughs> alright, isn't it it's required eight inch or something well, <laughs> we, we will have to figure out how we can switch the amplifier channels and utilize the amplifier channels in a way that we can switch over, have a preset where this back end turns into a PA. Two 18s facing to the back, you shut the cabin, that becomes your box. These will play as bass drivers. You, you could easily play them up to like 150 because they play that clean. And then have a pair of mids, PA mids with really sensitive tweeters and then you would have freeway yeah. blasting to the, to the back yeah that's what i'm saying like yeah, and that's gonna be the box like you will have to you will have to shut it although yes people will see the measurements what the car measures and what it what it it does with different things open um because it still plays bass really well with the front windows open easy actually plays the low lows mental proper hair trick madness you will see we will we will share some of those crazy videos with you then then you will see that this is not just quality but also a bit mad okay it's, it's not as mad, mad as like some guys in the us not just in us but at many other places but yeah probably us because pickups are are the most popular in in the us in europe people don't use pickups for audio really or they don't build huge boxes filling the the whole bed and then creating a blow through because technically we could have had that build a massive box here and then the cutout that we made and we shared in the previous video that could have been the, the, the blow through port but then we would have had a, a, a box now we don't have a box and the sound of IB is is something that we love many of our customers love yes it's not 150 dB loud but it's loud enough you, you can you can create 140 pluses with with these two um, and that is enough for most people yeah for some it's not but then yeah it's a different different type of system so here we are now everything is in we will have to put the back of the seat back because it's still functional to have three people at the back or the front seats have to be have to go a bit forward because there's not much leg room now I'm interested what it's going to feel like when people sit at the back. I'm going to try it. It's going to be so much fun. Imagine rear feel blasting in your head with two 18s behind your back. That's going to be a workout session, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, last week we had to fit all the new RCAs. One of one of our team member made, I, I can't take credit for that. He made a beautiful job using these WBT plugs and uh, the one dump silver cables, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, so we just had to feed them, which uh, was fun, to be fair, because down at, at the amplifier, you hardly have any room, and you can't just easily push those plugs up. It was a nightmare. I, knew it. I, I had to use my phone's camera to put it down to see where I'm plugging, because you can't really feel it, and it's really tight. I was I was thinking to take the amplifier out, tip it or something, till I can plug it in and then put the amp back. Um, I made it. But yeah, we had to play with tolerances here. That's why everything is so measured out, so 
you know, tight because the seat has to come back and it locks back and it just clears everything. All this stuff is right behind the seat. Um, yeah. Yeah, plus we fitted lights for the kicks as well this last time. Then you fitted the... I just need to think how need to fix those ones. Well, I was told this morning by the owner of the BMW that uh, they make a silicon type bottom to these um, floor mats and, and, and they stick. But I think you will have to use Velcro or something. Because yeah. it's very slippery. It's actually actually dangerous. Yeah. We may try that. We may we may um, put Velcro down and, and, and see how it holds. Look at that for now. <laughs> yeah. Because they were uh, custom made to to the build that we made, both both sides, with <laughs> something personal. That was your idea, just to make it clear yeah. for people. <laughs> and um, yeah, everything is true IB in this car right now. Okay, people can say, "Oh no, that's trunk IB. You still have a box at the back, and it's not true IB." Well, wait, wait for the video where we share the measurements and and. You may realize that if you have such a big airspace, they don't limit much in the response at all, so... Okay, well, I'm gonna end this video here, and then we will have separate videos, as I mentioned, for the measurements and for a bit of demoing. But for now... This is... I can't say that is the end for this project, because it's not. I know it's a, it's, it's a long-term project. People will, will see this car on competitions and meetings, I'm sure about that and they can have a demo, then they will understand why we did all this crazy work. All right, um, yeah, till the next one, take care, and uh, we'll speak very soon.